Welcome back. It is a problem in Florida and across the nation. Teachers quitting in high numbers, and a lot of it has to do with low pay. Tonight, we spoke to Florida Congresswoman Frederica Wilson about her proposal to increase teachers' pay all across the nation. CBS4's Naja Sherman is in the newsroom with the story. Naja? Lauren and Jim, the bill is only days old. It would set a minimum wage of $60,000 for every teacher in the U.S. That would be the minimum, but states could pay teachers more. Teachers are posting on social media, sharing that they quit their job. Many of them say they simply don't make enough money as a teacher. Because I was underpaid at my job. After five years of being in the education profession, I was making $55,000 a year. I was underpaid at my job. I now make that amount of money in three days a week working as a server. Florida Congresswoman Wilson stopped by CBS News Miami studios early Friday evening to discuss the issue. Teachers are leaving the profession and they're leaving the profession because they have to work two jobs in order to make ends meet. She created a bill to pay teachers more. The, the three main bullet points would be states would have the opportunity to raise the teacher's salary, the minimum wage, to $60,000. Number two, there would be a grant process in the federal government that states could borrow the money from to pay these teachers. And number three, this grant would last for four years. Hopefully, by that time, the states will have evolved and moved into that direction. Congresswoman Wilson says the goal is to recruit and retain teachers before things get worse. Students are starting to notice this teacher problem, and I mean young students. I teach third grade for another few days because I quit, and one of my students said to me in the last few weeks, I don't get it. My kindergarten teacher stopped teaching. My first grade teacher stopped teaching. My second grade teacher stopped teaching. The next steps in the bill is to get everybody signed on, voted on, and then send it to the president for his signature so it can be implemented. Wilson says the bill has bipartisan support. She says lawmakers in Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee have all told her they will support the bill. Live in the newsroom, Nasha Sherman, CBS4 News Tonight. Naja, thank you.